Bubbles are a great product that has been used for over 400 years. They are enjoyed by people of all ages and have been a great childhood memory for all. But there are more to bubbles than just fun. The chemistry behind bubbles is interesting and occurs all the time in everyday life. A bubble is air wrapped in a soapy film. A thin layer of water stays in between two layers of a soapy film which holds the air together. The outside of the bubble is made up of soap molecules. Each soap molecule is oriented so the polar heads face the water, while, while hydrophonic hydrocarbon <laughs> tails face away. Soap helps the water surface tension be weaker than normal, which makes the bubble more flexible and able to be manipulated. Bubbles are made up of 3% liquid soap, 95% water, 3% glycerin. Glycerin. <laughs> C3H5OH3 extends the life of a bubble by forming weaker hydrogen bonds with water, slowing down its evaporation. When many bubbles are joined together, it becomes a foam. From cappuccinos, to the foam on top of a beer, bubbles are all around us. Bubbles get their round shape by shrinking to the smallest possible size for their volume, and spheres have the smallest surface area for the amount of volume. Also, a spear shape minimizes the surface area, which means less energy is needed to start. Bubbles get their iridescent color by the light rays in the sky. They reflect off the bubble soap film, which results in a rainbow coloring. Bubbles can also reflect colors which are around them. Bubbles are a great and cute source for entertainment and loved all through the world, but there are more to bubbles than just fun. Chemistry. What did the baby bubble call his father? What? Papa. <laughs> what did the big bubble say to the little bubble? What? My pop is bigger than your pop. Ah. Uh in 2005, someone blew a bubble so big that it had filled with water. It would have been 788 gallons, that's 788 milk jugs full, and it would have weighed more than three tons. This is the chemistry behind bubbles! Woo!